topic I'm today, and today is a vlog, and I'm gonna do some talking later. But it's the morning, getting on my bike, and I will be off to school for my 8:30 econ class. Oh, my economics class and uh, <laughs> the first like 30 minutes we talked about the election tier tier um, it's crazy he like the Republicans won the House and the Senate so not as much accountability there um, but we will see uh, so yeah we wasted a bunch of time <laughs> at the beginning and then we actually ended up being done early so it was a fun class um, I don't hate what we're doing right now, so that's nice. <laughs> and, um, it didn't rain on my way here, so that was also a good thing, because I was speculating on whether or not that would happen. <clears throat> but, um, this morning over breakfast, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today. And recently I had a, um, kind of talk with my philosophy uh, professor, and it really helped me, and I know that a lot of people would be very deterred from just going and talking to your professor about maybe career kind of questions or even, you know, course material, and the old Lana would have maybe been a little more hesitant. Um, but more and more I realized we are all humans, my professor is just another human, they're not gonna like, they're not gonna be mad um, about talking to you, it's not like, it's not, I mean their time is worthwhile, or like, is worth something, but it's not like you're creating a huge burden on their schedule by asking to meet with them for a certain amount of time. And, I think, basically, this is just an encouragement for you guys to, whenever you, if you're ever, you know, struggling with, um, you know, trying to figure out maybe your career path, what you want to major in, <clears throat> any, like, academic questions, I highly recommend just, if you have a question and you're having trouble figuring it out on your own and you know that a professor or an advisor could potentially have some good information for you. There's no harm in going and asking for their their opinions, their advice, um, because all it is doing is giving you a little more, a little more evidence, a little more information to make a better, more well-rounded decision. And you're not you're not hindering, you're not burdening their life. Uh, and you certainly aren't, you aren't burning yours with maybe 10, 20, 30 more an hour of your time, but it will definitely cut down on your time that you would have been spending, you know, trying to figure out this solution on your own. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if, whenever you have a question, don't hesitate to reach out to your fellow human because either you know, they might just feel you know, happy that someone's actually asking for their advice. You know, they are long studied professionals. I'm sure they have lots of good things to say. Um, so it can be flattering. You might come up with a new mentor. You can gain way new insights that you never thought of before. So yeah, life advice today. And I'm going to upload edit, um, do some review stuff, and yeah, I will see you later. I love this bench. I always wanted to sit here, and the seats are moldy. <laughs> Honestly, it's the little thing in life, guys.
the election really is on everyone's minds right now, even in Canada. Every single group of people that have walked past me in the 45, uh, really, really an hour, an hour, um, they've all been talking about the election, so, hot topic. <laughs> So I just got off my bike, finished philosophy. I have a little bit of a break before my tutorial, and philosophy was hilarious. My teacher, there was this moment where he was pointing to the board, an example, and he was going like beep, boop, boop, and I honestly feel like he was trying to imitate Trump there. He didn't want to talk about him, but definitely had some pointed little gestures towards it. He's actually American, so he, he apologized at the beginning of class. Uh, it was good. I always like that in class. But yeah, now I'm gonna do some econ review. I'm gonna do some review of the tutorial, and then, yeah, head off. So, I'll leave you here. Hope you enjoyed the little snapshot of my, me biking. It was freaking cold. Um... Yeah, enjoyed it. See you later. <laughs> Alright guys, I am home after my tutorial. It went pretty well. Um, nothing like crazy interesting. I think all of the conversation about restitution actually was pretty expected to me. Um, it was good. Bike ride home was fine. A little sweaty, but I changed right into my pajamas because that's what I do when I get home. And I'm gonna eat some food because I haven't really eaten substantial food since 8.30, no, 8 a.m. <laughs> today. So I'm gonna go do that and end the vlog here. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.